the time has come to unite the world under one nation, an 8-bit nation, a neon green nation, the Coco Nation. The Coco Nation Show, coming soon. Well, welcome. You have to plug it in. There it is. No, it keeps getting unselected in the... Uh... In OBS, the uh, oh. device. Welcome to the Coco Talk Game On Challenge Live, where this week we will be playing Jumpy Joey by Nick Morentis. Yes, that man, that myth, that legend, the man that knows everything about Australia because he's lived there for a few years. Nick Morentis, the guy who brings us the great Coco games. So join us. Already in progress, cussing at the game. No, we're just watching. We're just playing. Yeah, that's it. We're just playing. That's my story, and we're sticking to it. And we have our esteemed uh, panel of uh, players today. Uh, starting at the top left, we have the man who's always here, Jim Rye. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Hey, you all ready to tie your kangaroos down? <laughs> that doesn't sound uh, too family friendly. And... Not too wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> and next, we have the man who's who's wanted on seven lists for the slaughter of many kangaroos, among other animals, in the cocoa community. Mark B. Hello, hey, I'm the major contributor of Roadkill. <laughs> And then there's no one important, just that sloopy guy. And last but not least, we have that professional Canadian game player, that man who can talk to the game on uh, high council himself, Ken B uh, Ken Waters. Hey, Ken. Oh, yeah. Hi. I guess that's me. Yep. Okay. Now, what are we playing? Oh yes, Jumpy Joy, right. <laughs> oh, could you forget? Ooh, mute. Oh. All right. Can stop. Long time no see, Ken. How you doing? I'm uh kind of alive, I guess. Probably because of all those videos you've been making. Ah, uh, yes, my advent calendar. Yeah. Luckily, they're really short, so they're easy to make. Yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to watch today's yet. Ah. I didn't get the notification for it until um, a few minutes ago. Well, today's is probably above your head anyway. Whoa, shots fired. <laughs> Throwing some shade. Well, you know, it's it's books this week or today, so ah, it's books. Are they game related books? Um, only if you're into Dungeons and Dragons and choose your own adventures. Oh, cool! They are game related. Yeah, maybe... Dungeons, Dragons, and Daggerath. Yeah, so maybe we should just play it on the show here. I'd have to uh, talk to the content creator to get his permission to do that, though. Yeah, yeah, you have my you have my permission. 
<laughs> if you want to, if you want to scare away uh, people in the audience, go right ahead. People in the what? Audience. There are people I see, watching. I see Twitch what? has Twitch has three. Oh, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm one, of one of them. <laughs> hey, wait, there's wait four of us watching Twitch. That's impossible. We... <laughs> We're a legend in our own mind. Oh, I'm not one of them because my audio is muted. Okay. There. Oh, there's nah. both Coco Talk and uh, Coco Nation. Yeah, I'm on. Uh... Now, do we have a Coco Nation uh, Twitch channel or are we just sticking yes. with Coco Talk one? Yes. We're streaming. On. We're on it now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on Coco Nation. That's that's why we have a different number, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I gotta find uh, Coco Nation. Justin, you don't need a capture card to play with us. You just need to come on a Discord. Uh, as a matter of fact, of the three people that you see playing, um, uh, only one of them is actually playing on real hardware. Uh, Jim, Ryan, Mark B, and I are actually playing on emulators. And I don't even have my screen shared yet. Yeah, uh, Ken plays. Yeah, Ken plays on real hardware. I would, but my computer is not set up at the moment. There, I am now officially following the Coco Nation Twitch channel. Oh, jeez. Uh, make I'm sure you get the right one. Yeah. Well, it's got our ugly mugs on it, so I'm assuming that's the right one. Yep. <laughs> Dustin, you're on the on the uh, the Coco Discord, right? And we are joined by the man himself, Exile in Paradise. Greetings, Alan. How you doing? Hey, Alan. What plan is this? Huh? What planet am I on? No. We're not sure. Oh, but we think not sure, yeah. Planet down under. You are uh, on wanna... Xanadu right now. Yeah, one that was uh, taken over by toxic waste. So, Justin, come yeah. join us. That one planet where you know the the pole is actually tipped over and points into the primary star. So, yeah. All right. What's up, folks? The sky. Not our scores. Taxes. Yep. My the body count is up. Yeah. The <laughs> death right. of kangaroo body count. Yeah. The death of uh, baby kangaroos. <laughs> oh, no. So this is a game where you play the cars running over kangaroos. Is that what, what I understand? Yes. Apparently, uh, yeah. Cars, livestock. You're supposed to catch catch the cars with the kangaroo. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, I'm no good at this game. It's Lowest just frogger. Frogger. How hard can it be? Yeah, but I'm no good at frogger either. <laughs> oh. Um Justin, you can actually play uh, um, any anyone run a Mac here? Not me. Yeah, VCC, I do believe, runs on a Mac. MAME runs on a Mac. Yep. Um, actually, if you just... Oh, I guess this isn't in the archive, though. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you have to buy it. Yeah, this or you can play a different game. You could just yeah. play a Frogger game. Yeah, you could you could that's join true. us and then play a uh, um, any game on the Coco. You don't have to play uh, the game of the week on the show. You just have to play any game on the Coco. And if you go to the Coco, uh, the Color Computer Archive, uh, it plays most of the games on a um in a browser window and that does work on a mac okay. 
that would be courtesy of the amazing XROAR Online. Yeah, all the Macs that I have uh, run uh, nothing newer than uh, Mac OS 9. Some of them don't even go past 7. Do you need anything past Mac OS 9, though? Um, do I need anything past 7? For some games. So, better games is the main reason to upgrade OS. Uh, not really, because mm -hmm. Bolo works on on 7 and older. Um, Air Arena works on 7 and older. Um, Crystal Quest works on 7 and older. Um, what other games do you need? Diablo. Bleh. None of that sounds like Coco games, so less interested. You're such a Coco snob. Jeez. Over some eight hundred duo. Well, oh. <laughs> do do we know someone working on say Diablo for the Coco? Not that I know of. Do we? Do we? Know what? Oh, well, I mean, there's Legend of Alcaron. That's like Diablo for the Coco, right? I don't know. I actually haven't played that one yet. Do you use the right joystick or left joystick? I'm reaching the right. Okay. Just don't use the wrong joystick. But I'm bumped. Anyone that's connected to my hands is the wrong one. Welcome, Justin. Howdy. Can and you hear I, me all right? Yep. Oh. And I apologize Sorry. for my faux pas. That being? Yeah, Mark, Mark uh, Justin's the one that I sent the uh, color basic ROM instead of the uh, extended color basic oh. ROM to. That's it. You're fired, Sloopy. Ah, shit. Now, how, how am I supposed to get a new job? I'm old, untrainable. Oh, you're definitely old. I was going to say, you're not, you're not untrainable. <laughs> it just takes a while. Ask Dissy. <laughs> I'm so old, you know the crucifix? I was the guy on the left. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's watch this professional Canadian game player. Oh, is Curtis here? No. The good Canadian game player. Um... <laughs> I'm not Canadian. <laughs> Coco Nation, more Canadian content than the Junos. Yeah, I mean, I thought that Coco made us oh. all Canadian. I'm only half Canadian. So you can actually ride the alligator? Yep, and just not on his mouth. Very carefully. I, I have borked that every time. I have not been able to do it. Yeah, you can't well, be near his that, mouth. That'll make getting that far left the hole a whole lot easier. Speaking of Curtis, he's actually in the uh, studio audience. Hey, Curtis.
And no, no Nick Marionettes yet. Amazing. We're playing one of his games and he hasn't shown up. Oh, he'll be here. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you have to open the can of Vegemite and leave it out for a little bit. Yeah. It's very, very quiet. Yeah. It will drive the rest of us away. <laughs> um, Curtis, what's the easiest way to set up a uh, Proco emulator on a Mac? I was trying to, well, I, I've been using XWAR online when I do it on my Mac, and I tried to get XWAR happening. It it wouldn't work for reasons that even Kieran couldn't figure out. Ah. But oh. my, uh, my Windows PC is tied up by the kids. The desktop Mac is tied up by my wife. So I, I am joining you courtesy my iPad. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, Curtis says the X4 runs pretty easy. There's a native OS 10 version. That there is, but I couldn't get the thing happening. Yeah. Yeah, Curtis, he said that evidently he talked to some guy named Kieran. Yeah, sounds like he took to the head genius of the uh, X Roar Genius Bar and it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, he came and found me. I asked about it in the Discord. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. That's what I love guy. about it. Seems it. Well, if you ever needed proof that math was made up nonsense, it's about to be posted on our Discord. Uh -oh. There's some discussion going on, uh, and apparently someone has been using emoticons in their math expressions. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I'm going to save that just so that I can, uh, you know, refute any of that math is reality nonsense that people keep trying to convince me of. There's no there's no reason you couldn't use emoticons in math. There's no difference between using an emoticon or a letter for a variable, so Yeah, when uh when we were talking about it yesterday, it reminded me of a memory from when I was in college in uh, uh, basic logic class. Our, uh... <laughs> Mr. Dave says, how long will it take this Joey to reach maturity if he does not get run over? I don't know. Looks pretty mature already. Let's see here. I've got it set. Why is it not starting for me? Because it doesn't like you. Well, maybe it uses a left joystick. I've experienced that bug they were talking about where you play one game and the joystick stops working. I'm not, I haven't even played one game. Oh, okay. So I'm playing on the keyboard now. Typical Nick Morente's project, full of bugs. <laughs> Those are <with> bugs. <laughs> Poisonous Australian bugs. Uh, ones that kill you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like the drop bears. Uh, let's see. Hey, Terry, yeah, so, how you doing? So I'm using right joystick. Hello. Hi. Terry, you're live. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? 
Are you hung on freeways? Uh, Terry, are you home? I am. Well, good. While well, I got you cornered, don't forget to uh, send me the uh, Coco Nation uh, OneDrive uh, link. Oh, shoot. Thank you. <laughs> I meant to do that. Well, if it, on air. if it wasn't for the fact that I ran the, uh, the, the Coco Nation teaser at the beginning of the show, I wouldn't have even remembered myself, so... Well, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> this thing is tougher than it looks. Yeah. Maybe I'll go play it on Green. the 2600. It'll be easier. Ooh, let's watch Jim complete a whole level. A whole row of Joey's. No, no pressure. Well, that's possible. Yeah, I've been told it's possible. Oh yeah, I was watching Buck Owens play, and uh, he had all the this like code in the background and all this stuff running. I was like, I was so conf confused. Oh no. That's not the way you do it, Jim. It's not? Oh, okay. Dying is not part of the strategy. Yeah, drowning kangaroos is uh, bad. It'll get you kicked nice. out of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and getting them trampled by cows is not good either. <laughs> Grab that at a time. <laughs> yeah, Buck, that you're 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 a robot, admit it. Yeah, he was using trigonometry to play. Hey, you finished the level. Yay! And you got an extra life. An extra roo. Oh, I just oh. ran into a truck. Yeah, that's kind of bad form. So now we know what it looks like when you come when you get a, a full row of uh, joeys. Hmm. I wonder if I'll ever see that. Well, mine's frozen, so I don't think I'm going to. You froze your Joey? That's mean. Uh, no, I froze. My game froze. Oh, single turtles. You still haven't gotten that thing started, Slippy? No, I'm frozen. I need to restart. I was hoping if I said Nick Morentis, Nick Morentis, Nick Morentis, he would show up with a uh, patch. <laughs> well, I've got a, Cur a Curtis showed up. That's close. <laughs> hey, Curtis, how you doing? Oh, not too bad. Keep going for a oh. Oof, you can barely hear you, Curtis. Oh. And I've got uh, you up better to... better now that I'm leaning closer to the mic? Yeah. Yeah, and I've got you up to 200%. No, I can turn on. I know last time on the show they were complaining I was too loud, so I turned my game down. Huh. I think Discord settings are violently different than Zoom. Yeah, probably. I've come to the conclusion that the Joey that I'm playing this game with is suicidal. <laughs> it would explain some things. Huh? I can. I'm going to see how this plays in VCC here, because I've, I've used keyboard, but now the keys are in kind of weird spots, no matter which way I pick. 
You don't say. Oh man, I got a full house tonight. Yeah. Seven people here? Oh my god. It's not, well, it's not crazy eights. We're popular. Yeah. <laughs> and I have, dog I've on it, people yet, like so I'm us. I'm not sure what's going on with him. He's being chased by a kangaroo. Yeah, where, where, where's uh, Nick? I, I'm frozen. I haven't actually heard from him all day, so I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, I didn't even get to play one game, and it, it's... Well, if you're frozen, turn up the heat in your house. He's just watching the stream yeah. and cackling maniacally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <that's> sheep. <laughs> ah. Hey, it works now. And I'm this dead. second screen, screen is, is full of sheep. sheep. <laughs> that it is. Three seconds from the start of game until my first death. And A new oh, record. Whatever. Good. <laughs> hey, play like I do. I think Nick's just gotten to the point where he just puts in the screen just for me. You boot it up, it says, press anything to play. You lose. <laughs> press any key to be, You could write that in basic. basic. Press, press any, any key, key to start. start. Game, Game over. over. My ancestors a couple of generations back came from... Uh, little island north of scotland that my brother less politely calls sheep lover island every time one of these sheep kills me in that second level i figure it's their revenge getting back at you sounds like a load of sheep uh, that was a bad joke <laughs> thank god david ladd isn't here to milk that Yelling. Careful, we do have alternate David Led. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, the, and the backup to the alternate. Ooh. Yay, I got two Joey's across. With only two deaths. Apparently, a kangaroo can't outrun a car. It's good to know. I know, I always thought they were pretty fast. Aren't, Aren't you supposed, supposed to, catch to catch the cars, the cars with the kangaroo? Maybe. If, if, if I, I am, am, I'm doing it all wrong. Yes, that is the actual point of the game. Catch the kang cars with the kangaroo. Hey, I'm doing good at that. <laughs> oh, and then when, when you get that little skull, is that when you score? Yep. Yep. Crikey. That's the congratulations. Yeah, they're like power pellets. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Wow, that was a new Don't one. Don't jump on the Mack truck. That doesn't work out well. Yeah, I drowned a Joey that time. Well, at least this makes more sense because can I guess kangaroos can't, can't uh, swim. <laughs> Supposed to be a bulldog on the hood of that Mac, not a kangaroo. <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Crikey! Now it all makes sense. What do the flashing dots give you if you pick them up? Extra points. Hmm. Uh, a death. I thought it was heartburn relief. 
<laughs> oh, that's not a flashing mm -hmm. Pepto. <laughs> yes, Pepto. Every time I go for them, all I get is death. For instant death. Score is 640. By 480. Oh, that's something. Uh oh. Oh, sheep. I see what you did there. That's right. Blow. Ah, uh, sheep dip. You stepped in what? Yeah, for some reason, sheep dip is not popular. Not popular at parties. Hmm. They said Here. bring a covered dish. Here we're watching this professional Canadian game player with his mouse in the middle of the screen. Yeah, but he just went right around one of those uh, flashing dots. Yeah. Left 200 points right there on the board. 200 points left on the board. Yeah, well, he'll he'll make up for it in uh, in quantity. He My game does. doesn't have a mouse pointer. Doesn't even have a mouse. Well, then you need to get a... Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, the high-res switch so that you can have... Hmm. I wonder who makes those. Yeah, um, just some guy has a has a similar name to this game, I think. No, Rocky. His products do. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Rocky. Hey, I got the bug. Ironically, I'm playing with the keyboard. I'm playing with the keyboard also. Well, I'm playing on real hardware. In joystick emulation mode. Why? Are you like a belt and suspenders kind of guy? No, just a belt. <laughs> Oops. Carried away. Interesting. I mean, shoot. I don't think there's any shooting in this game. It's just a lot of moving and dodging and getting ran over by one. sheep a kangaroo should have a gun <laughs> watch out that joey's got a gun joey's got a gun <laughs> joey's got a gun <laughs> joey's got a gun you know what joey should be able to jump over the sheep yeah you would think you would think a kangaroo could jump over some sheep or what's the things at the bottom is that some type of cattle yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, cows, I believe. He would think a kangaroo could jump over some sheep or what's the things at the bottom? Is that some type of cattle? Oh, I hear an echo. Nope. I'm on, I'm on, that, that's not live. That was a repeat. I'm on rerun. How could you? This is new. Oh, no, I was, I was, it was a re, it was a, re, a very short rerun there. I heard myself again. What's a rerun? And it was just as it was just bad the first time or the second time as it was the first time. Oh God, Jason's hearing voices again. <laughs> this Are is you, where I saw the own, leprechaun. He and told me to burn voices. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you off your meds again? No, everyone. What? Bloop, bloop. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. This game this doesn't like me. Uh, you keep telling yourself that. Ah, sheep. Oh, 
I want to talk to the author of this game. Crikey. Maybe yeah, if I, I turn the monitor better. upside down. Where is the game on channel? There are just too many channels in this Discord. I can go delete a bunch for you if you want. Yes, please. Start no, with those have... uh, useless OS9 ones. <laughs> yeah, you need Nitrous 9, not OS9, so obviously that's true. Or you could just block Sloopy's account, and then he won't see any of them. Problem really solved. Oh, I got an extra life. <laughs> Him and Marco. Oh, Marco makes all these darn channels. <laughs> oh, there's the, there's the channel channel. Why we have too many channel channels. Complain about too many channels. Request a new channel. Request to remove a channel. Channel. And there's the, the alternate channel in your channel. inner channel. Look at Echo again. The alternate Finish spelling the of a channel channel. Ah! I formally turtle. request to change the dragon one to the English channel. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I got all I got all the Joey's up there. Yeah, can we get rid of the dragon? I mean, there's enough uh Game of Thrones stuff going around. Hey, this game runs on the dragon. Yep, it does. Oh, it does? Maybe I should try that. Maybe that's my problem. 16, 32 or 64. Oh, it's, I think it's the first time I've ever gotten through to the second round here and uh Wow, there's more sheep and cattle and faster cars. And things. Oh, wow, these turtles are bucking. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this is... Oops. Yeah, yeah there goes that extra life I just earned. Don't get confused between the river scene and the highway scene and try to jump on the back of a car. <laughs> <sighs> Mother. Sheep. Fluffer doodles. Uh, I'm sorry, fine people of the. Uh, I said. F -f 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 of I'm going backwards. My uh, Discord uh, crashed. Oh, no. That's why we had peace and quiet. Yeah, it look it looks and sounds better this way. Oh, I'm just about out of time. Woo! Oh, this does have a pause. Yay! Rocky. Got too easy. All right. Hey, Nick must be busy. I still haven't got a response from you. She's pretty quick. I guess we need the real Nick here, Nick Marota. Nick Marota, Nick Marota, Nick Marota. That nice should yeah, fulfill our Canadian rice. contingent if he can make it. Oh, yeah. Well, CRTC that would rules. definitely fulfill our Canadian content requirement. We already have two Canadians here already. Um, you can yeah. never have too many Canadians. Exactly. If I knew we needed more Canadian content, I would have stopped at Tim Hortons on the way home. Yeah, but we want good that's... Canadian content. <laughs> well, that's the best I can do right now in a pinch. There's not a lot of Canadian content in Ohio. Stop Except bragging. Ken and I are driving through it on the way to West Virginia. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Welcome. Uh, ooh, Facebook ooh, user ooh, says, someone send him this game. He wants to borrow it. I'll send it back after he makes his winning score. <laughs> Creative. I'll give him that. Yeah. You could also do a off, uh, offer to do an off-site backup for someone. Yeah, I think you can... Can't you get this game at nickmarentes.com? 
Yes, you can. Digital download. Mm -hmm. yeah. For one you low betcha. price of five quid. I paid in dollars, so I don't know. I, I've never paid. I've never paid for anything in squid. No quid, not squid. Do, do, you, do you, what's the conversion to calamari? Mm. This sounds like the rating system that Tim and AJ use. <laughs> Three snaps in a circle. Two snaps in a Z formation. <laughs> I got fifty-one thirty. I rate this five tentacles. <laughs> oh, you have figured out the rating system. Oh, yeah. Oh, they use a modified version of mine. Mine, mine, mine. All right, just 1.5 zucchinis. All right, let's see here. 1.5 zucchinis. Is it, now, is that is that an imperial or a metric zucchini? Those metric are definitely zucchini. metric zucchinis. Thank you okay. very much. Okay, just, just wanted to clarify. Yeah! Um... Boop, 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 boop. Whoa. I love it when the sheep follow right along the opening. It's like, well, that doesn't help. No. It's like, well, sheep. If you've ever been to a petting zoo with sheep, you'll understand. So you're saying that Nick had to do a lot of... Uh... Um, research research at petting zoos for this game <laughs> yeah we'll go i don't know i hear there's a lot of sheep in new zealand did he go to new zealand maybe oh i just got a message from nick here how do you pause p no. break break oh what the hell is that in vcc nope. oh i ran out of time Air. escape uh, what do you say what time do you run out of ah uh, he can't today he says he wants to but he can't he's Occupied elsewhere. Crikey. How are we supposed to swear at him then? The author can't make it. That's a bummer. I think that's intentional. Yeah, yeah I almost to cuss him. I like this game. Oh, he's here. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Hey. Oh. I, thought... I was yeah, just going to say that I was going to diss the game since you weren't able to make it. But... Yeah, I've been busy. I've got someone here and... Uh... <laughs> I, I, it's a bit hard for me uh, doing uh, coming on today, but anyway, I thought I'd quickly look and uh, have a laugh. Mm. Well, you have a good turnout. Is that yeah? I noticed it's a, quite a few people playing. Crikey! Yeah, crikey! <laughs> and crikey. more people dying. Just think of all those Ferraris you've got with all these games playing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, I have, I'm not viewing it yet. I'll just have a quick look. Mm. Ah, mm. crikey. Yeah, I, I can't stay long. That's anything, but I'll see what I can do. Yeah, he's got a he's got a he's got a bulk Vegemite delivery coming later, so he can't stick uh, around. That's right. I, 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 I've got my Ferraris getting uh, polished at the moment, so. <laughs> oh yeah, when, bulk uh... Vegemite. I hope you're sending it outbound to the dump this time instead of inbound, which is the, the problem. <laughs> So oh, how, how are people going? I got, uh, I'm, I'm drowning a lot of joeys. I'm talking to you, but other than that. Is anyone to level six yet? Uh, no, I, I got, got to the second Buck. level. Oh, <laughs> I got the two. two. I'm because, still on level one. Because uh, Buck Owens <laughs> found another bug. <laughs> oh, did he? No. Yeah, but you, you won't see it until level six, so I you're safe. Well, much chance. I found a bug without oh, even playing. What's that? I started it up and did the show intro, did the introductions. By the time all that was done, it was locked up. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that bug. What it was? Are you running on an emulator or real hardware? I'm running on uh, XROR. Uh, that might be XROR. I blame Sloopy's computer. I blame Amish hackers. Hey, it's Windows 10. There, that runs everything, and there's no no bad code in it. No, no, no. Yeah, no, Windows no. is perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> mm. 
It's I didn't, wear my, I didn't wear my waders, so... The only thing that could be better mm -hmm. is if you're playing it on Windows 11, man. <laughs> <laughs> my crashes go up to 11. That's what I'd be saying. Uh, what, what level did you get to, Curtis? Uh, just two, twice. Ah, uh, a wimp. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played it in a while. Plus, I'm not used to playing it on uh, emulator keyboard, which doesn't map the alt and control keys correctly for that I've played set up. The highest yeah, level, level six, it might crash. So, so I'm never going to see this crash. No, I figure most people won't see it anyway, but I'll, I'll fix that up. <laughs> Is it a stack overflow problem? No, I don't know. No, I, th I think it's probably a, a bug that I brought in when I was fixing another bug. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that should be your lesson don't fix bugs. Uh, no, I wrote it you, you. when I fixed it. <laughs> Or just call it a feature. I'll, I'll, I'll probably, um, yeah, I'll fix that bug because there is a level six. Um, but I think only Buck Owens is going to ever see it. Paul Fair might if he plays it long enough, but I don't know if he will. Yeah. It does get hard at level five, but yeah, for Buck Owens. Um, at level five, what are you talking about? <laughs> get some hard levels for that. Yeah, I'm going back to a Coco. Uh, in I just played it in dragon mode, or yeah, in dragon on the uh, Xware, and it's much faster. On on what dragon? Yeah, the dragon emulator. Which uh, are you emulating PAL or NTSC? Uh, it should... Dragon doesn't have a PAL NTSC. Oh yeah, it does it, have NTSC. Yes, it should because the dragon Tano is uh, NTSC and the original dragon's PAL. Sorry, I yeah, looked that at might it. Be an issue. <laughs> yeah, I looked at it and it said dragon, and there's like no NTSC or PAL after it, which is what the Cocos have. Mm. So, yeah, that might be right. an issue. Let's Could try it on the, the Tano time, Dragon. Yeah. Oh, uh, try select uh, the Coco, the Coco Two. I thought you were playing on. I thought you were playing on a real dragon or your fake dragon. My co dragon. No. My uh, workbench has a Coco 3 on it. It's being cussed at. I'm playing on a Coco 3 with an 87 gimme. Why is Terry Steeg's in a, a different color set? Is he running composite somewhere? Ooh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if we're running, running the wrong color set. set. Yeah, I'd say so. Composite RGB. Yeah, who's, who's doing that? Uh, Terry. Yeah, probably. Hey, Nick. I, I'm on VTC using the RGB, I believe, but let me look. Did yeah, you if, you have, if you have VCC set to RGB, you have to type RGB first before you exec it. Because the well, Coco it, it has, defaults to composite. It has, What's the game it, ask you? I don't ask you. Yeah, you uh, too. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't have to because um, it sets RGB up anyway. Yeah, if you hit the right one, yeah. If you select yeah. RGB, but yeah. Mm. We'll just try her again. That's right. what I did with my Coco SDC. I put the RGB in right in it. And explore. Is, it, is anyone playing it with the music on? I am. Right. Oh, so the stream doesn't have the music only, then, yeah? No, we Not turn sure. the game sounds oh, off. Oh, you can't otherwise. enjoy each other swear. I mean, talk. So. Yeah. After <laughs> Jason singing, I turned my music back on. That's a good enough reason to turn it off. <laughs> I got one Charlie across. Wrong. Two's are. Yeah, I wonder um, why your colors are wrong. Maybe everybody else's is wrong. Have you got, how do you know that BCC is in our RGB mode? In their drop down, yeah, yeah you could be in the configuration, Just yeah, play. yeah. You might have your uh, VCC, VCC. Oh, there we go. Yep, it was my fault. I had it in the I was changing it where it says flip out artifact colors, but I needed to go into config, yeah, and yeah. I had it F6 was wrong. Okay, awesome. <laughs> you F6 it all up. 
It's I was back. going for the 60s version. Okay. Peace, brother. <laughs> Dang hippies. Dang. Woohoo! I made a I made a level. Finished the level. I level. Go off. I'm on level two now. <laughs> and I got an extra life and on the right before I went to level two and I lost it immediately. So what's the general consensus of the game? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, the other was an arrogant... Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think the consensus is crikey! Um, so far, I like it. Yeah, so the consensus is it's a good game. It's no robot nightmare, but you know. Robot nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same thing that everyone else has done 20 million times. Yeah. Isn't there already like at least ten of these? Mm. <laughs> I don't remember. There's uh, there's one where you play uh, Joey jumping across roads and there's that one that has that green kangaroo in it. Uh, one is that is that a game actually called Kangaroo? Yeah, there's, there's a, a game, game called Kangaroo. It was an it was an arcade game, and I remember the right, Atari oh, yeah, couple Atari box, console right? versions. You used to box the things, punch them out of the like fruits and stuff in the tree. Yeah, hey, so uh, like that was an arcade favorite of mine. Hey, Terry, you're also running. You're not running version one point one, are you? What are you talking I about? am. Yes. Oh, because I saw a bug in there that comes up on the the, the non one point one. It's gone now. Yeah. Let me double check. Oh, that might be Discord that's uh, doing. Yeah, you that might thing. be getting lag. <laughs> Frame lag. When when you boot up, it tells you there. I think. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, I can actually run it again. I'll tell you if it's uh, one point one. If not, I'll quickly email it to you. I, I did load one point one. I I was on the other one and I just loaded it. But let's double check here. All right. You're running a non-compliant version of the game. Yeah, I've I've got a. Uh, oh, yeah, if you want, if you want uh, an official uh, score. Terry's got the older pirated version. I think is what's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it all. Oh, is this back in the day? The cracked. This is one from Mr. X. Yeah. yeah. He's running the cracked version. <laughs> Run, Joey. Yeah, Joey one point. That's the one. Probably. Oh, there we go. Now, what does it say? 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Uh, you're running VCC, so say oh, yes. One, yes, yep. yep. No. Now, it's interesting. My keyboard doesn't work. Um not an issue that's the feature <laughs> no, well, uh, yeah it's a uh, joey saving feature you probably started keyboard um uh joystick i mean so your vcc how's it set up for joystick keyboard i uh, hold hold the break key down If you hold it down, that aborts, doesn't it? Yeah, hold it down. Hold the brake key down. Dun, 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 dun. Well, heck, what the heck do I have on the brake key? Oh my God. Uh, escape. Hold the escape key if you're re running a PC. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Esk. Yeah, look for the esk key. <laughs> Press ah, nice freaking turtles. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Ice bar not working. Okay. Huh. Dan, you're on fire over here. Huh? 
You're doing well. You're on fire. I'm someone, just about maybe going to beat level two. Yeah. yeah Someone's getting an extinguisher. <laughs> so let me ask you, Nick, I, if I hit F1, that, um, I don't know what it is, above the timer, the little red M, yeah. it'll change colors. What does that do? That turns the music on and off. Oh, so, okay, that's F1. Okay. Yeah, so when the M is red, the music is off. Okay. If it's blue, the music is on. Level three. And no red is in the manual, by the way. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those that won't open the man the, the uh, cellophane. I, I, so. <laughs> You're like the 99 yeah. other percent there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dang it! Read the manual. What's where's the fun in that? <laughs> oh, looks like I'm gonna have to go. Um, I'll see if I can duck in again later. Okay. okay. See you, Nick. Take care. See ya. All right. This crocky. Cheers. I love that show. R.I.P. Kirstie Alley. Mm -hmm. I heard that. Level three is hard. <laughs> I haven't even made it that far this round. I did it during testing, but. Haven't today. I'm only halfway through level one. I made it through level one once, and I think that's going to be my best score. Because I thought Atari people were supposed to be good game players. We are. <laughs> they are if it's on an Atari. I've seen Soupy Perry Tar. I haven't seen any good gameplay. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trash talking now. Would you like to play some Kaboom? I haven't played that in a while, but I probably could. Because I wouldn't have a paddle. So you'd be up this creek without a paddle? I'd have to use that Cocoa Black Beauty on that sucker. Black Beauty! I'll challenge you to Enduro on the Atari. Ooh! That'll work. <laughs> Ooh, I got an extra life. I got a rock. You got what you deserved. Mm. You got a rock! Rock! Oh. Uh. All right, I will be back in a couple of minutes. Always with the threatening fans. us again. Absolutely. I'm sorry, can you spell that? Waffles. No, I had French toast today. I didn't have any waffles in the cafeteria. It was French Toast Day. I have no idea what's there tomorrow. <laughs> Not that it matters. But now I wonder. Blakey. Mmm. Ah, uh, fluffernutters. Pancakes. Breakfast burrito. Mm, what I had for breakfast yesterday. Mm. Get yourself a breakfast burrito from the Wawa. Yep. Yeah, I did go see my daughter. is what is for breakfast tomorrow okay chocolate banana overnight oats yeah pass bloop, 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 bloop. 
Typ. Hey, Coco losers. I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong number. Are you all hey. jacked up in drugs? <clears throat> He's hopped up on goofballs. Are you hopped up on pain what meds? The... What is no, that? No, I'm not. That right. would explain why you're your <laughs> usual unpleasant self. What's the deal with that graphic anomaly? Graphic anomaly. Scratch, you mean? No, that's a biological being anomaly. Graphic. <laughs> I'm talking about the uh, car on my a screen. Genetic anomaly. Oh, sorry, I, I got mixed up. Where's my? That's the one that's missing. Ow. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, you see my screen where the car's um, going across and it's like blip, 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 blip. Where are you? Second row. Blip, 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 blip. Where the heck? I, I don't know. Where are you? Where are you there? Let's take a look. Middle row far right? Is that you? I'm in the uh, middle row far right, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, that, one, that one goes faster later. How about the blue car? No, I was talking about the white car. It was really mm. odd. Mm. No, sorry, I missed that whole thing. Oh crap! I've been watching my timer go out here. Forgot to pause. <clears throat> Oops. And sheep dip. Don't think you want to make it. Yep. See the car. Ooh, that's weird. It's like it's got blinking tires. Mm-hmm. Ooh, neat. Is that a 50 Froggy. hertz PAL versus NTSC thing? I can't remember what emulation you're running at the moment. I don't know. I'm on... Uh, I'm at one car. Driving. There's two cars in that lane, and only one of them's a little glitchy. Whoops. That's that's interesting. You have version 1.1? 1. 1. Oh. Well, that could be... Oh. Uh, there was some timing anomalies uh, that he had to accommodate. Yeah, Buck said he saw it in a text test version wow maybe you don't are you running 1.1 or are you running uh it's not uh, oh. 1.0 whatever he sent me what did you get the update <laughs> oh i think you were you were testing some of them so you probably have i only have, have one like, test mm, okay but nick's officially released two 1.0 and 1.1 .1. Uh huh. I think he sent 1.1 on the 26th or something of November. I can't remember. I think so. Why do you guys suck at this game, Curtis? Well, why don't you get on? Why don't you get on here, uh, armchair quarterback, and uh, take a well, take unfortunately a, for you, I would and kick all your guys' butts, but uh, I'm not able to sit in a chair yet. But right unfortunately, now. he has no skills, so I mean that wouldn't work anyway. That's I'm able to sit to in a chair. Hmm. Yeah, you don't have one of those round the the the, the round pillows. No, the donuts. The donut, yes. Just use your sex sling. No, he just looks like he eats a lot of them. That's all. Good night, everybody. <laughs> How are you feeling, Granny? In all seriousness, I'm doing pretty good. Feeling a lot better today than I did yesterday, that's for sure. Oh, that's good. The pain was pretty bad on Tuesday night. They put a they put a block in me, and then that wore off, and that was uh, that was terrible. <laughs> I've tried blocking you; it doesn't seem to work. Thanks, Curtis. Appreciate it. <laughs> I, stepped, I stepped on one of those Lego blocks before. That was pretty painful. I 
just hate to hate to inform you. It's like Nitrous uh, Nine Ease of Use pro uh, project might not have a table this year at Coco Fest. The uh, well, registration got lost. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Is registration even open yet? Yeah, not yet. To this weekend, hopefully. Aha. Uh -huh. I gotta see much money I can pull out of my equivalent of a four hundred one k to go to the show. So, who was clicking? Whoever's playing on keyboard, I would guess. Probably a good. Uh... Uh, I think I've got. I think I've got my high score, and that's gonna be it. I better get a picture of my high score before uh, my game locks up. And you'll be like, ah, oh, waffles. Where's Terry Steggy at? He was here. Is he not here anymore? He saw you came in and left. Yeah, smart man. <laughs> hey, you said it, not us. <sighs> Keep it up, Curtis. Keep it up. You might lose your paycheck. <laughs> I wish That's I a had division one. by zero here. Yeah, I wish I had one. So is anybody on the panel here who actually downloaded EOU version 1 and tried it? I'm going to guess not. No, I haven't had time to yet. There's a couple of and... games on there too, so... Actually, Ooh. a couple dozen if you include all the Jim Gary ones. I'm sure it's full of a lot of bugs. I'm sure too, that's why I'm expecting to do a 1.1. Presently, I've had less bug reports on this version than I did on the last beta, so maybe I'm learning to do something right after 30 years. You were due, you were due then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Barry Nelson's helping us out now, too. Yay. Actually, I, should, actually, I have to give him some credit. He is actually helping out one thing, making a distribution for RGB DOS, HDB DOS. This is one of those games I really can't talk and play at the same time. I really suck. I would just blame it on the programmer. Uh, he's already been here and gone. Some new furnace work in there for you, Coco Man. Just fine. Did you get Lights a full replacement? I'm assuming they couldn't fix the uh, other one. Not full replacement.
I'll just be glad you were home when it happened. There must be a lot of intense game playing going on tonight. Yeah, why aren't you on here, Brian? You working? What's that? Are you working? I'm working. That's no excuse. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm recovering from my surgery, so. Yeah, I saw that. Glad to see you're doing well. So how's it Got feel? A long now? ways of recovery, though. So how's it yeah. feel now that you're a real boy? <laughs> what did you, you say? To get into work mode? Huh? Was what? That, did I was say that something? A, was that towards Grant? <laughs> I didn't even know what he said. Are you Pinocchio now? Yeah. I'm not Pinocchio. Uh, it's -a me, Pinocchio. So Brian, how do you like being um, secretary so far? I like it. I just wish I had, unfortunately, at the time that I accepted the position, things were just kind of ramping up with a bunch of big projects at work. And the timeline just hasn't been, uh, been working to my advantage here. But just uh, last week and this past weekend just finished up the, a big one. So hopefully, uh, between now and the end of the year, it should be relatively quiet. And, yeah. That's good. I'd like to get the um, I'd like to get the uh, the meetings uh, documented between uh, you know the ones you know where we didn't have somebody to. Uh, to put in the minutes, get those approved and things so. on. Yep, that'll be that'll make Jim happy. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully, I have registration for uh, the vendors open up on Saturday. Hopefully, okay. uh, Randy will have it all up and running. That'd be nice. Has the uh, author of this game uh, hopped on at all this evening? Yep. But he had to go. Yep, he made an appearance. Good. Hopped on. I see what you did there. I know he had a uh, a re-release of a little fix that he had. Has there been any other? Um... He has found one more bug he has to fix yet, but it doesn't show up to level six, which okay. only Buck Owens has made that far. So. <laughs> oh man. 
it locked up again for me. I make your good version. I checked the version you're running, Sloopy. It's it's version one point one. Yeah, I checked I when I started it. So many problems that nobody else's. Well, everyone's probably starting it right after they load it. <laughs> Mine was going way before I actually started playing it, but again, I, I was doing rural hardware, so. Yeah. Wonder. Pull this tarp out of the way. I haven't had a chance to play the game myself. So, how does the game difficulty uh, progress as you go through the levels? Does it, does it just move faster? Like it starts very hard and it gets harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some some stuff goes faster. There's some more things uh, on certain levels. Mm -hmm. So. There's definitely more livestock on level two. <laughs> what have most people been using? Uh, is it a keyboard or just using a joystick? I use keyboard myself. I think Buck does too, if I remember. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be here. Okay, we do this back in time. Oops. All righty. I'm sorry to all the viewers out there that this will look backwards to you.
So are you saying everybody needs to turn their screens around? Yes, or look through a mirror. What sort of sounds are in the game? Is it just uh, the, the hopping? Or... You know, there's multi voice background music too. Good. I think most of us aren't sharing it right now because it's hard to hear you talk over it. Right. Isn't everybody being so very quiet right now? They're concentrating on getting past level one. <coughs> or at least some of us are. As, you, say uh, that, you say that like there's more than one level. We've heard rumors. Yeah, I heard that there's more than one. Okay. I've seen level two, and I rumored there's up to a level six. Has, uh, has Nick shared uh, how much of a response he's had with the game? Uh, what do you mean? Like reviews or... Uh... Number of copies sold. Yeah, sales, I guess. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Point five Ferraris or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he said he couldn't. He, he had to run because he had to go shop for a new Ferrari. Right? <laughs> The seats are going to be made from the hides of all the dead kangaroos. Here in the Iowa area, we're we're finally getting some uh, our first uh, serious uh, weather. Mm -hmm. 
Snow? Uh, it's icy right now. But, uh, oh, I see. To, That's no good. Let's just turn the snow up <laughs> after midnight. Which is the combination I don't like. Yeah, I'll ice take, under snow. I remember that in New Jersey. I'll take a put of snow over ice on, or snow on top of ice. Mm. Give me a bit. Does it make shoveling too easy? Wow, I broke a thousand. Fun. Is there any uh, unique quirks about the game or is the strategy basically the same? The whole other level, it's not a frogger. Don't die. <laughs> Very difficult yeah. proposition. Uh, Buck Owens was asking where you're at in Iowa, Brian. Uh, east or western Iowa. He says he's in Eli, a little south of Cedar Rapids. Oh, okay. Yep. I know. I know generally where he's at. Maybe I'll have to connect with him sometime because I uh, I have an office in Cedar Rapids that I travel to. Of course. Ah, oh, you son of a pancake. I know. You go you might have to bring a box truck. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in uh I'll be in that neck of the woods um uh, in March. Well, watch out, you might try to buy your hardware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just need one more. One more. You see that? You got the one with the alligators that go the other way. Everything goes the other way. I got the snake now. Ooh, what level do you Ooh, have the snake yeah. on? Wait. I never saw the snake. <laughs> I never got across the highway on level three, so I, I got one frog onto the last screen there and, and made it, and then I died. One frog. frog. Or, sorry. <laughs> there are frogs in this game, too? Oh, fro <laughs> probably <slip>. poisonous. <laughs> Maybe he licked. Maybe maybe he means he licked one of those like uh, hallucinogenic frogs and saw a snake. Well, explain a lot. Oh, 
Oh, you make it looks like you made it to level two, Slippy. Nope. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I did. And I died. No. Yeah, that's that's what I, that's kind of what I did on level two. There. Yeah, so basically if your if your uh, name is longer than four letters and if your name is not Nick then you're just kind of character mm -hmm. short. Eesh. Peter Rapids. Uh. I thought Cedar Rapids was in Michigan. Yuck, 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 yuck. Cedar Rapids is 1,050 miles from here, and it's too close. No, I think that's Grand Rapids in Michigan. <laughs> Who knows? I've never even been to Iowa, so there you go. Yep. I don't know if you've ever seen relatively flat land covered by corn and soybeans. <laughs> Substitute wheat, uh, canola, and wheat, and yes. That sounds like Indiana. <laughs> and then you've been to Iowa, then. <laughs> okay, so... Does it have a crappy toll road that goes across it too? That's expensive. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not even sure if we even have a single toll road. We don't. We don't up here. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm going to Cocoa Fest. I go across Indiana. And, oh, it's uh when they go through Indiana, it's corn, corn, corn. Target, corn, corn. Gary. <laughs> You may come across the occasional cattle or hog lot. Oh, oh and there the oh the other the other the highlight of going across Indiana is the RV Hall of Fame. Ooh. Well, and if you're on Interstate 80 going across Iowa, uh, you'll uh, you'll come across the world's largest truck stop. Now that might be interesting. I've heard about that. Is that on Route Iowa 66 80. or something? What's that? Is that on Route 66 or something? No, it's on Interstate 80. Okay. I believe it's called Iowa 80, truck stop. Yep. That's <laughs> when you're, uh, you're on 80 and you're almost to the... Uh, Is that the one that has like Eastern. a church and a bunch of other things built into it? Mm, Dentist? I don't, know about, I don't know about all that. I know that they have, uh, I mean, pretty much every service that a truck driver would want. You get your vehicle service, you take a shower, wash your clothes. Yeah, because the one I I can't remember where it was because it was quite a few years ago, but it had like a church and a whole bunch of stuff as well as the standard stuff. It's very likely. I I'll be honest. I tend to avoid it because once you get in there, it's almost impossible to get out. So I I tend to go right past it. <laughs> but it's hard not to miss though because they have a sign that uh, I don't know how tall it is, but you can see it from over a mile away. It seems like. Wow, there's some good scores here in the Game On Challenge that I'm not getting anywhere close to. <laughs> Multiple people have broken 10,000. And don't jinx go. me, I'm almost there. <laughs> are you? What are you at? Um, ah, crap. Here, I'll, I'll uh, zoom in the screen so you don't have to answer that. It's hard to see here. Oh yeah, you're ninety nine forty, aren't you? Woohoo! Broke ten thousand. 
Oh, you're gonna beat me then, because I gotta stop here pretty quick, so. Salute! Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you have all day tomorrow. Got 11, 11,520. Uh, then he broke it with 15,580. Then we got 10,350. Kieran got 15,570. Paul Shoemaker, 13,390. Oh, sorry, 15,940 he improved. You got some good scores in there. Sabhead broke 10,000 too. Joshua's got 12,030. Yeah, I'm not going to get rid of that. <laughs> I think I'll have one more try and then I'll get back to some actual coding stuff. Have any of you uh, caught um, Adrian's Digital Basement, uh, one of his more recent uh, videos? The Coco 3 jammed into a Model 3 case? Yes. Yep. I've yeah, also seen that. that actually done in person here by one of our club members back in the 80s. Nice. I think Daniel O'Connor did that too, didn't she, on the on our show? Uh, Might have been a model four case, but yeah, I can't remember what, what model case, but yes. You just pick up on the donator of the. Uh... Yeah, that was Wonder. Tim. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the guy who actually did it was is been in the chat. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, of the of the video or the actual machine. The actual machine. Because Tim got it from somebody else, it wasn't his. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Tim. Yeah. Tim told me the story. I just, uh, I didn't. Uh, but he had some comments in the chat. Okay. Good. Mm, excuse me. Yeah. Based on the video, I I believe he should be able to get it going, because he's at least getting video out of the computer. So that's. I think it's going to be a memory issue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's memory slim chance of a PIA maybe. Oh, come on. I landed on his tail. Nick, your game's cheating again. <laughs> It's good at cheating. Had a good teacher. I'm surprised the game doesn't Photoshop your scores out.
So how, how long would you guys say is an average gameplay for, I mean. 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who you ask, I think. <laughs> so like to get to, let's say to, to get to 10,000, as Ken was just doing, how long did you have to play to get to that? Oh, 10 minutes maybe, if that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one of those games that it's not going to take you long to play a couple of games just for fun. Right. Good. So, Ken, are we going to try to sneak in Kokobon at some point? Or do you think that's enough of a scoring game? Or should that be a like, doubled up game or something? What do you think? Weren't you paying attention last week? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I announced it on the show. I, I had EOU on my mind. I was trying to get the release done. <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do is because when you got when yours when your stuff was on, I was actually busy like editing web pages and stuff, which I still broke. <laughs> and, no, what I announced was that um, play Coco Bond now, get used to it because um, over the Christmas time, we're, I want people to uh, create their own levels oh, and right. then we yeah, can I all play them. That now that you mentioned it. Then we can all play them and then vote on uh, whose levels we like the most. So since there's no scoring, it'll just be kind of voting on. Who creates the best levels? Or the funnest levels, or for those of you that don't want to try too hard, you could vote for the easiest levels. <laughs> That'll be Sloopy's vote. Does anybody else finish the game besides Buck? Not even close. I think I'm on level 11 or something. <laughs> Damn it. I think I got up to 14 when I was helping him beta test it. So I haven't got anywhere near what Sloopy has. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think I'm going to be done here. All right, I've returned. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, that's too bad. My son came down to talk to me for a minute. We were talking about the future of my van. And have a future? Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a future. Yeah. I need to find a transmission for it. And we can't find one. And we, he had found one, it was an engine and transmission. And the guy asked for $75. And by the time he was able to get a hold of him, he goes, Oh, I sold them. I sold both the engine and transmission for 300. And my son's like a hell, I would have paid 300 for the transmission alone. Cause it was low mileage. Why was it that cheap? <laughs> uh, the guy pulled it out to sell it. He made the majority of his money off the cat. It was a wrecked vehicle. Oh. No. So he was just parting it out for the money. <clears throat> yeah, the engine runs great in it. Starts right up, very powerful. Problem is, is once it gets past second gear, um, it'll go into third, no problem. But fourth is an issue 
um when i was coming back from tandy assembly it uh because i was like going up and down the hills in pa and the uh and it was like downpouring rain the uh stick and slip uh uh traction that i was getting uh screwed up the transmission and it blew its fluid all over and it burned up part of it i haven't really driven it much. i haven't really driven it much except for like down to the store which is only like two miles away and back and like if i keep it in like uh d3 d2 and keep it under like 40 45 miles an hour no problems but once it's hot and it gets up into fourth gear, it'll stop. It'll just like vroom, vroom, and it won't go nowhere. You'll stop, put it in park, turn it off, turn it back on, and it'll go again. Can you get a rebuild kit for it? Um, n None of the places that work on transmissions around here will touch it because uh, evidently the transmissions in these vehicles are notorious pieces of work, even though it's a Honda. Yeah, Honda is not Honda is not known for their automatic transmissions. Engines, manual transmissions, they're they're spot on, but automatic transmissions is their downfall. Especially their C V ones. But I don't think this one's a C V one. <laughs> Really enjoying your uh, your videos there, Ken. I haven't uh, watched all of them yet, but uh, I need to catch up on a few. But uh, that was a nice idea that you did. Oh, the advent calendar thing. Yep, I said they did doing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, still got a few to go. Yep. Yeah, I'm just. Mother. F Son of a f fluffer noodles. Welcome back, Where's Nick. Oh, it's cool. Our, our feed is so dark. It's yeah, so very yeah. black. Oh, there we go. Who's got the high school today? Ken, so far out of us. Hmm. Me, 11 let me go uh, see um, MS Paint for a minute, and I'll get a high score. Did anyone get to level six? <laughs> Did I, can't even... get to... I haven't even seen level two. Oh, I can't God. even get across the road on level three. I've gotten a couple of them across on level three, but my score is way lower than yours. Hmm. That's because I'm cheating. That, that's why I haven't really been too worried about this bug, not yet anyway. I'll fix it, but uh, I'm in no rush to fix it because I'll be fixing it for one person. Oh, yeah, that, that sounds like a challenge to get to level six. <laughs> yeah, which poke is that again, Nick? <laughs> no, 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 no. There was no pokes. He actually uh, did play it that far. Oh, my well, uh, hard cut. The, the video um, that's on my webpage uh, has him playing almost to the end of level five. But then again, uh, Buck's a robot, isn't he? Well, we know he's not real. I see Buck is, Buck is here or... I think he's he's logged in. But yeah, that's that's Buck the robot. <laughs> is the stream frozen or is that just my browser? Um 
Yeah, it doesn't say your. Um... Well, I, I stopped streaming because I, I got to ah, go yeah. get something else done. But I'm just looking at the. Oh, no, it just came back. It's been on and off. Yeah, my uh, Discord just uh, crashed and I had to restart it. It's all Sloopy's fault. Yep. Admit though, it's a colorful game bringing the color back to the color computer. Again, I point out it's called a color computer, not a colors computer. So, yeah. really, you only need to have one color. One color. The color of the Coco Nation. Buck, when he plays it, he pretty well. Got whoever, whoever has the highest score today, Buck can get that on the first level because he uh he's mastered being able to uh milk the bonuses in the in the river river stage. That's how I'm getting my higher scores. Yeah, that's what Buck does. He chases the uh, bonuses, and he gets most of them on that first level before it gets before it gets too hard. Way to give away my secret, Nick. Jeez. <laughs> I was hoping to make it to the middle of the pack. Well, <laughs> what was that secret? Well, Buck's playing playing right now. He's on level three, and he still has six lives. So, you want to see how it's done? You probably find he'll get to he'll get to the level six and then crash it. <laughs> yeah, level five is super tough. I'm not sure if I get past that. See, in here, I thought I was going to look like I did good in the stream tonight, and then Buck had to go and join, and no. yeah. You don't stand a chance when Buck plays. He beat me, Ken, because I am I gave up here because I got some other stuff to do. But What did you uh, get, Curtis? Uh, my best score today was 83.50. Didn't even make 10,000. Oof. Which I did do in testing, but you're killing me. Buck got one more and he's completed the third level. See, he's smart and doesn't chat while he's doing all this, so he actually does well. <laughs> now I'm just pausing my game to watch Buck play. Yeah, see how it's done. No pressure, to, Buck. No pressure. Me. To make us all feel bad, uh, David Craker's uh, son Joshua got twelve thousand at this. All right. Yeah, and he's not even the highest score in the game on challenge channel. There's like five or six that are over ten thousand, several over fifteen. That's it. He's done uh, third level. He's going on to level four. Yeah, and he's already just about a twenty grand. He's getting there. Oh, is he playing live now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Aren't you watching oh. your own stream? <laughs> it's, in, it's in the stream. <laughs> oh. He joined when I was talking to my son. Sorry. Just goes to show how much Sloopy pays attention to everything going on in his own stream. I can't he pays much to attention pay as attention. I did to the show last week when you announced about uh, Kokobon. <laughs> What about Coco Bond? We're going to be playing that or something? Yes. Oh, really? Cool. Oh, crap. Oh, I saw that. He's... <laughs> okay, you lost the mic. You're trying to get Is that left there? one because it's the hardest one. Yeah, he's trying to get that, but I, I, I noticed he was a, he jumped on some sinking uh, turtles, and I thought, uh-uh. 
Yeah, he's only got five men left. He's doomed now. <laughs> he's doomed now. Watch him go down. Now he'll get to he'll get to six. You watch. He's on four right now, right? And yeah. Four, eight, uh, yeah. Now, Nick, weren't you saying it starts getting hard at five? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's when it starts getting really hard for for Buck. Now, uh, yeah. Nick, Nick, yourself Everyone personally, else? without cheating for testing, how far have you gotten? Uh, four. Got to four, and I figured no one's ever going to get to six, right? Impossible. Yeah, I forgot all about Buck. <laughs> You've done in the last couple of games there. you got to keep that in mind all the time now. Yeah, that's right. I just broke 20 grand. Yep. The Buck factor. Yep. Yep, Buck off. Crap. Uh-oh. He's, he's probably trouble. not even. He's probably not even playing he, serious. He's probably bucking around. He probably just woke up. One hand tied behind his back. He's eating supper while he plays this. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's debugging a game for the uh, Spectrum. I think at the same time, another screen. And play testing another game. Just. Oh. And he's halfway to level five. And he's still collecting the bonuses or chasing the the bonuses. Yeah, I gave up on those pretty early on. <laughs> yeah, every time I went to go get them, except for one game, every time I'd get them, go to get them, I'd die. There was one game that where snake they... so far hasn't been too much of a problem. I, I've never hit the snake on the. No, no, the snake uh, so you don't dawdle too long on the. Uh... See, Sloopy, the idea is that you're not supposed to die. Yeah. Read the manual. Don't die. Oh, I I was. Uh... I was going to cha change uh, business models. I was going to be in the uh, kangaroo pelt business. Oh, he's... Here he goes. Oh, Justin. Not to be young and have reflexes like that again. <laughs> <laughs> Will he get the bonus? Ah, oh, I just missed the bonus. Geez, my stream is behind here. A couple seconds behind what Nick's seeing. Oh, my dear. Nick, are you watching on Discord? Or are you watching on... Uh... Discord, Discord, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching on uh, Twitch right now, so... It's a bit of a delay. You know, Joey needs to be able to jump over the sheep. <laughs> and the cows. Actually, it wouldn't be so bad if they were if he could like jump between over the fence. Here he goes. That's level four done. Oh, cute. He's a freak of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Grant Leedy is just a freak. Oh. Just, oh God. <laughs> Down to three lives. Ooh. And now all the cars are going fast. Yeah. Three lives, that's good. That should be good for another several thousand. So on the Maybe. cow on the cow level, the uh third road never has any no. cows. It's to give you a chance to get across, I... otherwise it would have been pretty hard. I had, uh, I thought I had 
something yeah, doesn't in there. level two or three give you ones level, level two three? some in the middle on the third one each yeah, level yeah. each thing only has one sheep or cow though ah uh, right yeah whereas on the other ones there's two or three later on he's trying to get that left edge one ah he went for the ride anyway <laughs> I think he got hit by about three cars there. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was just like a pinball among all the cars. I have to say, if this forth. was a Spectrum game, he would have been dead long ago here because their collision detection is so exact. Yours, yours, you made it a bit loosey, I think, on purpose, Nick, just so it wasn't yeah, impossible. It, it, it's uh, impossible otherwise, and it's just, it's not fun if it's that tight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's why I'm not a fan of some of the old Dragon or, or Spectrum games, because that's the type of thing they always did. I guess it gave you a sense of accomplishment if you could actually, like, win one of those things, but... Yeah, I think part oh. of it is because the, uh, the person who made the game tested it, and because they played it so much, they didn't realize how hard it was to a person that's not used to playing it. Huh. Yeah, but in the case here, like, like, like you said, Buck's a freaking nature, because Buck's already on level 5 right now? And and Nick yeah, himself has never made it past level four. No, I haven't made it to this level. Yeah. Not not legitimately, no. But I want to see it crash. It'll crash once he gets to six. It's kind of like the Donkey Kong oh, uh, crash. Lost screen. another life. Why? We're seeing the uh, the annihilation of Buck Owens. You 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 have a missed opportunity there, uh, Nick. You should have had him do a splat sound when he got ran over. It's right. So really, one more level, and that would pre pretty well be the the peak that this game can be done, because even Buck can't get through uh, six levels by the looks of it. So what you're saying today, is, but wait till tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're, so what you're saying is the game eventually gets to the point where it's impossible to play. Well, it it, it was meant to keep repeating level level six, I think it was, but that that's where the, I, I put a bug in there now, and it's not even getting to level six. He's waiting in the middle. Oh, oh. oh no. He's out. Oh, uh... He's out. He didn't even get to six. Oh, oh man. Jeez, what a how, failure. No. <laughs> yeah, how disappointing. Couldn't even get to level six. <laughs> okay, so since Nick wrote the game, he should demo how he can get to level five. Go for it, Nick. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll he just doubled that. the next person's score, though. So I, I yeah, don't think he has too much well, double. well, he's going to take. A, I assume he's going to take a screenshot of this and, and submit this to the uh, the game oh. on challenge. Oh, I know what it is. You have to have a four letter name in order to get a high score. <laughs> Actually, you can even leave it blank. It still puts you up there. Wow. <coughs> oh. We didn't get to see the crash. How disappointing. So, oh, Nick, when you're, when you're developing a game like this, do you do it all on the computer? Or do you ever do any, like, actual pencil and paper and like grid paper and lay out the screen or do you just do it all in your head and start so i i usually develop it on the cocoa yeah uh, the layouts and all that are on the cocoa but you already have an idea in your head about what you want to do you don't like yeah, like draw, yeah. draw it out on paper to see if it's going to fit no. you just uh, no, he draws it out on screen. He usually writes a little basic utility to yeah, do the I level and tile design i've got much time but i can try and bring it up I can show you the editor. Um, I'll, I'll just if I still have it. Just 
reconnect the uh, dev files in my VCC. One, and I need the second disk. Okay, I'll see. I'll put my video on. I can remember how. That's a camera. I'm going to run off to bed. All right. Um. What am I sharing here? No, that doesn't seem right. How do I share a damn screen? Oh, down there, maybe. Here we go. Now found it. Okay, Brian, can you see my shared screen? A moment. There you go. Yep. Yeah, I'll just uh, try to get myself in position here. All right, so if I switch to drive two, just look at the files. Oh, I thought I mapped it. Hang on a sec. God, I hate emulators. Have I ever said that before? Not today that I've heard. And it's just a bit awkward. My current. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, they're in there. What's going on? It's not drive two. I keep forgetting I'm not on a real Coco anymore. It's drive one on the emulator. Right. Now, the file I want is, you know, it should be run my damn, oh, there's Apple rubbish coming up. All right, run SG. So this is a basic program I wrote on a Coco SG12 edit. And then I can load, say, uh, what did I call them? Joey Zero, was it? And I spell it right. So that's what I basically drew up in the uh, in the editor. So I can move my cursor around, and um, you can see that little green marker. Is that working, um, Brian? Yep, I can see your blinking cursor. Mm -hmm. So I can now, um, you know, set some dots using a PC keyboard. I don't, I don't know where I've mapped things now, but there it is. I'm just, you know, splotching things out. And I can draw a few things. 
and I can look at another screen. I can show you all the graphics that are in the game, which I oh, I can't remember what I call the file. Hang on, let me have a look at the. Now if I remember the exit. Joey uh, zero one two three. Lev data. GFX. That's what I called it. So we load GFX. That's all the graphics that are actually in the game. So you can see in the very top, I've drawn up the font, which is used for you know, the high score page and and that the cars, crocs, logs, the title page, some numbers for the score, the turtles. So all the graphics in the game are pulled from this page. And you can see it uses two, two blocks of graphics per character, like with the trucks. There's two white trucks, two yellow trucks, two white cars, because they have to be there has to be two for the two pixel locations per bike, a, a, a leftmost and a rightmost bike, in order to get a smooth one pixel scroll. But yeah, that that's that's what I've done. I just wrote a, a program on a real Coco in Basic to um, allow me to uh, design the graphics, and e even while I'm programming it, quite often you know I might be programming in I might have a change of ideas or or I might need to change some of the colors around and I do that while I'm programming I could go into this exit the editor assembler of course run this um editor do the changes then go back to my um assembler and recode it for whatever changes I did so yeah all done on a real cocoa very nice very nice yeah. yeah. <coughs> and in case anyone wants to see it, I've got uh, the one of the new arcade games on EOU up right now too. Um. Just bring it up now. Oh, the space is that. Yeah. On the Floyd's. Now Floyd was saying on uh, Facebook, I have to go check if he's responded again, but he said he was having problems where it was crashing and I haven't been able to duplicate that on launch. He said he was getting an error, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh yeah, this uh what's the arcade game called? Um base app. <laughs> no, isn't it based on a proper arcade game? A 1980 arcade game called Space Zap. Oh, it was actually called Space Zap. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It? it starts really easy and then it, it does get harder. And then it would get harder, yeah. Does this game just use the arrow keys and like the space bar or something? Uh, joystick. No, it's a joystick. Okay. And there's a super zap too if you hit the space bar, which will blow everything. I don't have the sound turned up, so you probably can't hear the sound. Can you just hold the fire button down, or do you have to? Move no, you can hold it down. Move. One thing you should have put in, and maybe if I decompile it, I'll add that is the uh, an overheating thing. Like if you hold it down too much, it'll just blow itself up. He doesn't have that. They just get faster and faster, and pop up more often. That's not a bad little base nine game. Um, I've got a quick sneak preview of my uh, latest offering, which is the uh, 
hopefully going to become a uh, music program on the Coco using the Orchestra 180 that uh, Rick Eulen's putting together. That's cool. It doesn't do a lot at the moment, but um, it can make tones and all that. I Have you got to do all four simultaneously yet? Or, or? Yeah, they are in there, but of course, I haven't got an orchestra. An orchestra 180, uh, 180 card is Rick's going to send me one, he says. It works on a normal orchestra um, 90 on, on the two channels, but uh, and it does do the sine waves, square waves. Triangle waves, ramp waves, uh, and it does allow you to, to send it to, to any of the four DAC channels, and it supports uh, a sample rate of up to 22 kilohertz. So that part's working, but there's still a lot more to, to do. This is really early days. Um, the idea is that it's going to allow you to almost freehand draw your own waves, not not fixed. In the window in the top, it's going to actually show the wave, which um, it's not doing at the moment. Oh, cool. And What's then after I've got the, uh, this is the waveform page. There'll be a sample page, so you can actually have proper samples in there. Um, and then when they're done, then I do the um, composition or uh, what do they call it, the re- uh, the one where you actually then put put uh, put it together as music. Are so you gonna, there's a long way to go. Are you going to support the uh, Philharmonic 12? No, no. This will be just for the Orchestra 180. Ah. The Philharmonic 12 is uh, a, a totally different... Uh, design it doesn't use dax it's got it's got a sound chips that have uh hardware yeah. channels yeah i i need this to work with just the the standard um eight bit dax yeah so basically you can look at it as being a super orchestra 90. it looks like a fun game i can't wait to play it yeah it's going to be fun <laughs> Well, all, it, all it does, and I don't know if it'll crash at this point, but I'll see if I can make it do a tone. Oh, yeah, it does a tone at least. And, uh, but at the moment, yeah, there's still a lot to do. I can't really show much more than that. Anyway, I better go. My time's, time's up. Parole is over. <laughs> Those visitation right. hours are always too short. Yeah, visitation, that's right. The criminals have to go back in behind their cells again. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'll see you on the show on the show uh well yep. Sunday over here, but in two days' time. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, see you then. See you then. Thanks. 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 Sales Thanks. figures there when you when you get to that point. I'm, we'd be interested to hear. You had a few questions. Oh, thousands, that. thousands. <laughs> wow. Well, thousands. I, I, until I wake up in the morning, and I realize. Oh, you mean they weren't real? <laughs> anyway. No, we're okay, asking how many sales, not how many bugs have been found so far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll Thanks see you later. Thanks for the game, Nick. Thanks for sharing. Okay, Later, bye. Nick. Uh. Ah, nuts. Shoot faster. I'm shooting as fast as I can, Captain. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. <coughs> all right.
Yeah, those ones from the top and the bottom come up pretty quick, don't they? They're pretty, pretty yeah. close. And they get they get faster as you go. It starts out quite easy, so everybody will be able to get you know some amount of square when they get the chance to try it out. But it does speed up. So we should uh, have this as a uh, game on challenge game. Yeah, I think you could. Ken Ken will have to decide that. But what? I have to decide yeah. what? I I would require you to be there to have pe help us with the people uh, running uh, uh, OS nine. It's pretty easy. Just follow the instructions on the README that comes with it, and then uh, launch G Shell, and you can just double click like a Windows machine. It's just launch from the GUI, just like everything else. Now, Ken will just make a uh, single boot disk that uh, just plays this game. You just boot it and it plays the game. Well, I, I could do that. In fact, the road might even be a one of the one of those on the archive already. I'm not even sure. Now, Ken says about how easy and great it is. Let him do it. What? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to get you to write the sequel. <laughs> okay. Once I make base nine source for this for you, because unfortunately I think Lloyd lost it over the years. I had to recreate it. All right, I'm going to end the show. Why would you want to do that? Oh, I don't know. Original sin. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another great uh, episode of the Coco Talk Game On Challenge live. And thank you to all our participants and all our viewers. Join us Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern United States time for our show, Coco Talk. The Coco Nation. Yes, that's it. The Coco Nation. And you can see how you ranked in the high score, how far below Buck you are. <laughs> and uh, how far uh, above me you are. So, Coco on. The time has come to unite the world under one nation. An 8-bit nation. A neon green nation. The Coco Nation. The Coco Nation Show. Coming soon.